Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And yes, we have yet another patch for Remnant 2. Not gonna lie, I missed this one by two days. It completely eluded me, but I did see the Twitter post. So once I did, I went ahead and ran and made this video so I could inform you on the most recent patch for Remnant 2. If that sounds good to you and you found this video informative, don't forget to like the video and consider subscribing to the channel to help me reach my goal of getting 500 subscribers. I would heavily appreciate it and it would be extremely helpful for the channel to grow. With that being said, let's take a look at the patch patch notes all right so in this video we'll be taking a look at patch 410790 which was available on march 14th at 11 54 a.m est all right and to kick things off we have performance and crashes fix an issue where frame rate would potentially stutter in multiplayer when certain weapons were used by clients Fix an issue where UI elements would flicker when using FSR frame generation for some players. Fix an issue where some Epic players were unable to get online. I know that would be extremely frustrating for some players considering, you know, most things happen online. You want to play with your friends, you want to do quick play, all of that good stuff. So good thing they fixed that. Moving on to bug fixes, we have archetypes. Handler fixed an issue where very good boy could rock infinite bleed on enemies. We then get a funny note from the devs saying, still a very good boy. I'm sure that this would be a very debatable fix considering there's some people that probably like this, but you know, developers gotta fix those things. So here we are. All right, moving on to gear and items. Fixed issue where corrupted savior mod power was not draining correctly in all instances. Fixed an issue where corrupted savior was not playing a swap weapon animation fix an issue where adding duration to corrupted nebula is not increasing its damage over time effect fix an issue where corrupted nebula's corroded status was not being calculated correctly upon reapplication fix an issue where corrupted nebula damage over time was being calculated incorrectly fix an issue where corrupted nebula nanobots would incorrectly proc the bandit mutator fix an issue where impact cannons bullet trajectory was offset to reticule at medium and close range. Fix an issue where Tainted Blade Mutator was not applied melee damage bonus on charge attack with Hunter's Spear. Finally, fixed an issue where Shielded Strike Mutator was not working with Huntress Spear. Now onto UI. Fix an issue where Corrupted Nebula's inspect information was not displaying correctly. Fix an issue where Corrupted Sorrow's mod damage as friendly fire was showing up incorrectly on minions. And finally, we have miscellaneous fixes. Fix an issue where Void Heart visual effect would become detached from item. Definitely a lot of fixes to a lot of corrupted weapons and their mods. So take a look at those once you get on with the patch in mind. All right, so that is all of the patch notes. Not a very long list but definitely some things addressed in that small of a patch. So hopefully it helped out some people with anything they were having some issues with. And if there's still things that you're seeing issues with, don't forget to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you are still seeing as you're playing the game. Hopefully they get those fixed on the next patch. So we'll have to wait and see on that one. With that all being said, if you found this video informative, once again, don't forget to leave a like on the video and please consider subscribing to the channel to help me reach my goal of 500 subscribers. It would help the channel tremendously. So please do consider. With that, I appreciate you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.